Hello guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm going to teach you how to do an offset transition. Right, so let's get right into it. Alright, so what you want to do is have two, <clears throat> two twisted clips, right? So one and another, just as so. If you want to learn how to twix that, I've already made a tutorial on it. So you can just go on my YouTube and find it on my Instagram, whatever you prefer. So what you want to do first is leave one frame that's empty, just black, before your other clip starts. It doesn't matter about timing, honestly, it really doesn't. Even if there's a beat there, just leave one frame. Alright, so what I'd first start off doing is actually making an adjustment layer. You can press Ctrl Alt Y, or you can do it manually by new and adjustment layer. Then you trim it, do that. To just have it on one frame and then what you want to do is add displacement now <clears throat> what you want to do here is make better displacement zero now depending on what direction you want your transition so what direction i want mine is this way it's going left to right because i want to left to right i want to make this the displacement map the opposite direction so up around like 148 that should be fine Make sure you added reptile to your clips or motion tile, whatever you use to read in the edges. Otherwise, if you don't have that, it'll look messy like this. Now, what you want to do here is add an offset. So, same way you made an adjustment layer, get the effect offset and add it. Now, what I do here is make the clip so that is right in the middle. You can have like a little bit more to the left, consider removing left to right now what you want to add is pcc directional blur and make that about 34 you get an effect like this right now blank frame let's move on what you want to do here is that offset again because we're coming from left to right you want to move the offset left as in the value like your cursor right but make sure the screen is going left we're gonna have a like around here and use this directional blur again and make it like two values higher than what you had here so 33 or sorry 34 here and make this around 36 now what you want here is you can duplicate this layer put it here load the value a slight bit probably around like 10 less than your original value and then make this so it's more to the left because you're moving from right to left again so around that would be fine now you have your basic offset now if you want to add added movement what you can do key mark keyframe their position for your clip move one frame before the end and then make another keyframe there. Now go back to your first keyframe and move it to the direction you're sliding to so it's left to right so it'll be coming from the left to the right and then what you can do if you do have flow you can do it like this or if you want to just do it normally what you can do you can separate dimensions now because we're moving on the x the x graph we're going to do it like so And there you go there you have it so now what other things you can do is let me just check if it's fine perfect all right now what you do want to do is sometimes you might not like this it looks kind of messy what you can do is add fast box blur and increase the value of this slightly like two or three so just tidy up some edges and yeah perfect now you have your offset transition and thank you for watching